auto-digitizing tools are the very bottom, the last icon in your toolbox that looks like kind of like a pencil with an asterisk is the one that you mainly see the first. It's called Smart Design. Um, these auto-digitizing tools um, work with bitmaps. I mean vectors, sorry. And they, they're, these are all the tools, okay? The first tool is a turning satin. And it's to fill narrow columns with turning stitch angles. Doesn't mean it has to be a, fill, a satin stitch. It could be a fill stitch, but it, just know it's going to turn. Notice this right here is called match to palette. So this color will be matched to the closest color down here at the bottom. So I'm going to select my turning satin. And I, all I have to do is click on it, and it completes it. Click on it. Done. <laughs> click, well, click on it, and now... I don't like the way it did. If I zoom in on this, I don't like the way it did the angles here. So what I'm going to do with it, I don't have to manually do it. I can right click on it and convert it to a fusion fill and then just hit enter one time and it's going to suggest stitch angles to me. And these are the angles that it's suggesting and I like them. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I've done all three of those letters in a matter of less than a minute. Hold on. Now, it won't work with this one because it looks like that, and that's not what you want. So what you can do is you can utilize a few of your tools that you have. You can use your tatami fill, and it will fill it with a zero stitch angle. Okay. Well, we want it to be satin, so I'm going to change it to satin, but I want it to be this going like this and this turning. I'm going to go over and use my automatic knife, and it fixes it. So it's two pieces. This is going in this stitch direction, and it's underneath this. And the same thing for these other two. So I would probably go like this, do this, select it, turn it to satin, and this. And then grab this one, satin, and then the knife. Now, the angles on this one is fine. The angles on this one, not so much. So, I have to break this apart first. I can't do anything to it until I break it apart. And now I'm going to grab this one, right-click on it, convert it to the Fusion Fill, Enter, so it'll suggest stitch angles. That's the ones I want. Hit Enter. It's done. Less than a minute, all three of them done again. And the same thing with the F. Now, it has to be vectors. Okay, and it can be, it doesn't have to be letters. It can be whatever you want. So, um, like I said, the tatami fill, do it, select it, make it a satin, hit your auto knife, and it's done. Another thing that the auto digitize bitmaps does, you get those tools that you saw right here. Okay, they work with vectors. Um, you can also, if you're in Krill Draw, you can bring in a bitmap or a JPEG, whichever you want. Such as Let's just do this one. At the size it is, you do not have to trace it. You can hit convert straight from here, and it will automatically convert it, do what it needs to. Now, this, it remember, it that was a bad, bad artwork, because you can't even read the little tiny letters down here. And then uh, notice there was some white lingering around. 
So it picks up what it can. Some of them are satin stitches, some of them are, but just know that you can do that with the bitmap straight from Corel with the auto digitizing bitmap tools. Um, there's one I want to actually show you also. Let me just grab this guy and convert him to a vector. Um, if you have this little guy, let me make him larger so you can see this. Um, you can actually use this one right here. We'll put a an outline run around the object so you can see the green outline run. And this is the pick out run. It will put lines in the center. Those here only work on vectors. Now, let me go back and grab that same bitmap that we had before. And go back over to Wilcom and leave it the size it is. And now the pencil's lit up. That's called Smart Design. So I can grab the Smart Design. This is my original design. This is what it's going to be. And it sees all of these colors, which is 20. And I want it to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to say 10 and see what we get. Okay. And now I'm going to say OK. And next it goes to this page here. And it's asking you, what do you want to do with these colors? Well, the white is the background, so I'm going to omit it. Okay. I'm going to fill all of these colors. Um, the this one right here is details. I will want I want to do that, but I also want to do a fill on this one and a fill on this one. And then I'm going to click OK. And it does the same. If you had changed the color of that green one, would it not be the little lady mm -mm. next to it? Mm -mm. Because it's the same, the smart design is what actually works in the background. When I've brought it in to Corel and hit convert, the smart design is the one that does it. 